Okay, next that is question number 51. The option or options with the values of A and L that satisfy the following equation is R. One equation in terms of integral is given. So, we can start this question by considering an integral as 0 to 4 pi e t sin 6 a t plus cos 4 a t d t. We can break it as 0 to pi plus pi to 2 pi plus 2 pi to 3 pi plus 3 pi to 4 pi. Right. Let us consider these ones as I 1, I 2, I 3 and I 4. If I look at I 2, which is pi to 2 pi e t sin 6 a t plus cos 4 a t t t. If I substitute t is equal to pi plus x, if I put t is equal to pi plus x, it changes to 0 to pi e pi into e x sin 6 a x plus cos 4 a x d x that is e pi into i 1. Similarly, i 3 can be obtained e 2 pi into i 1 and i 4 as e 3 pi into i 1 because here I will be substituting 2 pi plus x in this case I will be substituting 3 pi plus x. So, i upon i 1 if I rewrite these terms here i upon i 1 is simply 1 plus e pi plus e 2 pi plus e 3 pi independent of the value of a. This is simple g p which can be written e 4 pi minus 1 upon e pi minus 1. So, from the given options we can see that option a and c are correct. Right. So, in this manner we can solve this integral. Let us check the next one. Question number 52. Consider the hyperbola h x square minus y square equals 1 and a circle s with center n x 2 comma 0. Suppose that h and s touch each other at a point x 1 y 1 with x 1 greater than 0 and y 1 greater than x 1 greater than 1 and y 1 greater than 0. The common tangent to h and s at p intersects the x axis at point m. If L m is the centroid of the triangle p m n then correct expression we have to obtain from the given 4 options. one hyperbola right it is given to me that hyperbola x square minus y square equals 1 and a circle with center on x axis that is x 2 comma 0 touches this at point p which is in the first quadrant. So, we can draw the circle like this let us draw the half one this is the point p this is point O. Now, the common tangent to this circle and hyperbola is intersecting the x axis at some point say m. It is given in the question that the common tangent to h and s at p intersects the x axis at point m. Right. Now, center of the circle is n they are talking about the triangle P M N its centroid. So, let us consider point P x 1 by 1 as given. We can write the equation of tangent to the hyperbola for this given one tangent to h s at P. This is x x 1 minus y y 1 
is equal to 1. This is the equation of tangent to the hyperbola. Now, this is a tangent to the circle as well, correct. To find the point m, when we substitute y equals 0 here, we obtain point m as 1 by x1 comma 0. So, point m is here in terms of x, point p is here, we have to talk about n which is given to me x2 comma 0. If we look at it, this will be the normal, common normal to the circle as well as hyperbola. Let us write the normal at p to hyperbola. This will be x upon x1 plus y upon y1 is equal to 2. It is passing through the point x2 comma 0. So, let us pass through the point x2 comma 0, we get x2 is equal to 2 x1. Hence, the point n becomes 2 x1 comma 0. Now, it is easy one L m obtained as 1 by 3 times 3 x1 plus 1 by x1 comma y1 by 3. So, L is x1 plus 1 by x1 into 3 in denominator and m is y1 by 3. Now, looking at the given options, option D is dm by dy1 which is 1 by 3 that is correct because we obtained m as y1 by 3, dm by dy1 is 1 by 3. L, when we differentiate this L with respect to x, we obtain 1 minus 1 by 3 x square that is option A is correct, right. Now, we have to talk about option B as well. Option A we obtained d L by d x 1, option D we obtained d m by d y 1. Let us find out d m by d x 1. Since we have x 1 square minus y 1 square equals 1, so y 1 is root x 1 square minus 1. Substitute this one here and differentiate, we clearly find option B is also correct, right. Let us go for the next one. 